You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, I hope everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas yesterday. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, women's soccer here. Now, we've done videos on women's soccer before, but this particular story um, actually came up in 2017. This is before this channel even existed. And we're going to be talking about uh, Jalene Daniels. Now, Jalene Daniels is a women's soccer player. She's in the uh, NWSL and she is a devout Christian. And. She caused a ruckus, I guess you can call it that if you want, because she refused to wear a gay pride jersey. This is back in 2017. And now, guys, she is actually re-signed with a team in the NWSL. And her team has actually apologized for signing her. Not making this up. And I'm talking about the North Carolina Courage Let's jump over here to ESPN. NWSL's Courage, sorry over re-signing Jaylene Daniels, who refused to wear USWNT gay pride jersey. Now, guys, this is really an attack on her religious beliefs because it seems like the mob wanted her to violate her religious belief and wear a gay pride jersey. Now, she is a Christian, okay? But let's uh, read this. The North Carolina Courage have apologized to fans upset by the recent signing of Jalen Daniels, the player who made headlines for refusing a U.S. women's national team call-up over rainbow thing gay pride jerseys. Now, we've been very, very clear on this channel. When you mix politics and sports, it is not a good thing whatsoever. It's not. So when we see uh, athletes kneel for the national anthem, they're making a political statement and that has no place in the game. It doesn't. So even when you try to force somebody to wear a gay pride jersey, that's a political statement also as well. And if they don't want to wear it, they shouldn't have to wear it. Let's just be clear about that. Uh, the Courage announced on Sunday that, th that the club had brought back Daniels, who retired last year after playing seven seasons in the National Women's Soccer League. But some fans were quick to criticize the move because of Daniels previous opposition to gay rights. I don't like how ESPN uh, states that right there because they're making it seem like, you know, she hates gay people. And that's not the case whatsoever. Daniels, who played under the under last name Hinkle until last year made headlines when she declined a call up to the USWNT in 2017 because she refused to wear a rainbow themed jersey for Gay Pride Month. The jerseys, which were worn by every member of the USWNT, were later auctioned off to benefit a gay rights nonprofit. And this is what they actually had to say in response to signing Jaylene Daniels. Quote, in response to the recent news of re-signing Jalen Daniels, we as a club acknowledge the, the impact this announcement has on our community. The North Carolina Courage said Wednesday in an unsigned open letter to fans. We spent the last few days reading your messages and reflecting on our actions. We are very sorry to all those we have hurt, especially those within the LGBTQIA plus community. That keeps getting longer every day, guys. The decision to re-sign Jaylene was not made likely and included significant conversations between organization leadership and Jaylene. The priority expressed in those conversations is the safety of our players and maintaining an inclusive, respectful place for the team. The courage did not indicate they are recon reconsidering having uh, Daniels join the team for the 2022 season but said they have, quote, a productive conversation about the expectations we have set for our entire team, which includes respect and inclusion without reservation. The club will continue to host Pride Nights, partner on initiatives to support the gay community and, quote, outfit players in custom made Pride jerseys 
according to the statement. So there you have it, guys. Jalen Daniels gets re-signed by the courage. She's on the team. Now, we know that these soccer teams, you know, they have a lot of uh, women that are part of the alphabet community. But Jalen Daniels is not a part of that community. OK, now this to me is nothing more than the mob trying to attack her religious beliefs as a Christian. No doubt about it. Now, if you are a Christian, you know that Christians do not believe in gay marriage. It's always been like that for thousands of years. I mean, go, even going back to when um, it was just Judaism. That's a no, no in the Christian faith and nobody should be forced to violate or bend a knee to the mob to violate their religious beliefs. OK, uh, Daniels released her own letter on Wednesday night, writing that her love for the, her cursed teammates has never been based on their identity. Quote, I remain committed to my faith. And my desire for people to know that my love for them isn't based on their belief system or sexuality, she wrote in a statement that came out immediately after the courageous statement. Quote, I pray and firmly believe that my teammates know how much I cherish them, respect them and love them. Daniels declined the USWNT uh, call up in 2017 for, uh, for what the U.S. Soccer Federation calls personal reasons. And I believe that had to do, you know, with the um, the uh, gay pride jerseys and things like that. But what do you what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of, of the uh, North Carolina courage basically apologizing to their fan base for signing, re-signing Jaylene Daniels? Do you think that she's going to be forced to wear uh, LGBT element, element OP paraphernalia? I don't think that she will bend the knee. I don't know if she'll be cut from the team because of it. You know, I'm not really sure. But the courage should not be apologizing for signing her. She shouldn't. Now, if you guys remember um, in the NBA bubble, Jonathan Isaac for the um, Orlando Magic. He was in the bubble when all of these other players were making political statements, you know, kneeling down wearing Black Lives Matter jerseys, doing the national anthem. He refused to kneel for the national anthem, and he refused to wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Now, he kept his job, but you saw what the media did. The media was asking him, uh, do you actually care about Black Lives because you're not kneeling for the anthem and you're not wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt? Now, Jonathan Isaac, you know, he didn't want to wear, wear the uh, shirt, didn't want to kneel for the anthem. But the media had the audacity to ask him if he actually thought that black lives matter. See, I'm believing that this is probably some of the things that Jalen Daniels will be facing because I don't think she's going to wear a LGBTQIA plus LMNOP jersey. I don't believe she's going to do that. And she's going to face some backlash. Maybe she'll get booed by. The fan base, because the fan base in soccer, you know, quite different, you know, than the major sports leads um, out here. Maybe the media will also be coming down her on her as well. So she's going to face some backlash for this. And hopefully, you know, the courage will actually have her back. Everybody should be able to practice their religion the way they want to. And everybody should be should be able to abide by their religious faith and not do anything to violate their deeply held religious beliefs. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.